All right, we're live. <clears throat> this whole intro isn't going to be super long. I'm preparing everything as we speak. Oh. Let's do Discord first, actually. Time to make animals fight each other for glory. Pokemon. Oh, Pokemon. Insurgents. Live on Twitch. Okay. That's one Discord. Uh, the second one's kind of dead recently, but I think when he starts streaming again, it'll liven up. And the third one, right here. Although, <laughs> I honestly don't think there's anyone in Tanya's that's not in mine. There might be like one person. Hey Jazz, how's it going, man? Yuki should have listened to me. She didn't stab that guy in the butt. That's what you do. You stab him in the butt, and then you get the NPC to attack him. And while the NPC's dying, and the guy's like eating his head, you run away, and you you tell the guy's mother what a shithead he's been. And then his mother comes down and just starts smacking the crap out of him with a broom, and he dies of embarrassment. Because you gotta also. I, I missed a step. You gotta stand there and laugh at him while his mother's beating him up at the broom. And uh, he'll, he'll die of embarrassment, and that, that's clearly how you win the game. I mean, there's no other way to do it. Um. <laughs> I still gotta post on social media. Oh, lordy. Okay. You know what? When I, when I post on Twitter, I'm gonna try this thing that Amy told me about, about hashtagging the game I'm playing, except it's it's a fan game, so I'm just gonna hashtag Pokemon. Oh. Where's my my other Facebook? I didn't have a tab open for that. That's unusual. I usually always have that open. And also, I should also post in my Pokemon Go group, just in case anybody wants to just pop in and... Probably not, but, you know. Uh, where is that, anyway? Oh, uh, there it is. Hopefully we'll we'll make good progress. I don't think we're gonna beat it today, but hopefully we'll make good progress today in this game. Cause I'm ready to like be done with it in a way. Like not that I really don't want to play it anymore, but <laughs> well, the poor. It just seems that that character is just not gonna not gonna do well anyway. You know. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's do this. Let's let's kill the music. Ooh, can I get it right when it's faded out? I might Oh, I was almost fast enough. I was almost fast enough to do that trick. That would have been really cool. That would have seemed like pretty awesome. Uh let's go ahead and switch over to the game. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Hey, I see Lion Prince in here. That was somebody that also came over from Yuki. This plops for you, eh, paid And I... Are you pooping again? Not that it's that unusual to poop every day, but it seems always when I'm streaming, and I don't stream at the same time every day. And my schedule this week is different. Because we're doing VMX Reacts tomorrow. So I still only have six badges? I feel like I... Oh, right, I'm in this fucking shit. I was trying to figure this shit out. Okay, so I know there's like a time vortex thing somewhere over here. Oh, man. Yeah, there's a guy that was in Yuki's stream. His name is Lion Prince, and he's like, Oh, fancy running into you here, uh, VMX. And I'm just like, hi. And I'm like, I don't know who you are, but hi. Okay, yeah, I uh, never, like, looked this up, so we're just going to try and figure it out. Let me see if I can grass knot this guy, because he's very big. Oh, my mouse is in the way. Let's move that. Oh, my God. Freaking sturdy, really? Oh, that's not good. 
Oh, that's... Oh, I survived. Okay, we'll just... Disrespect you with hyper voice. That was assy. Alright, well, I survived, so I guess it was only ass-related. It wasn't full assy. Why can't I... Oh, there we go. We're gonna figure this shit out. Because obviously it's some kind of puzzle. So I came down here. There is a time warp thing somewhere around here. And I think it changed the layout somewhat. Oh, I really don't want to fuck with you, Miss Magius. Really? Well, good thing that Spike didn't work. Why can't I escape? Oh, there we go. Well, okay, and we got Miss Magius again, and I'm just... Really? Really? Am I even in the right area? Like... I feel like I'm going back... Oh, okay, I've exited. Alright, well, let me go back to the town and... Except I think that's north. We'll go back to the town and heal up and... This is the town, right? Yeah, okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So I'll go in there and we'll figure out this, this puzzle with the Tesseract ability. I really don't know what exactly I'm supposed to do, but the last time I was there, it was last week. It was at like the very end of the stream. And uh, yeah. Lion Prince, say something in the chat. He came over here. Oh God, wrong button. All right. What do we got? This fucking bitch. Your inverter installed? Oh, okay. You can bring your Let's Play stuff with you. I'm like, I don't know what that's all about. I'm just going to go for um, Moonblast and see if I can maybe... Holy crap. Psywave should not be doing that amount of damage. And why wouldn't she go for Ghost-type attack? Oh, wait. That's right. Psywave has that whole randomized damage thing. Well, Morgana keeps getting, like, wrecked, but survives the wreckage. So I can't really stunt on that. We'll figure this place out. This might be where I was that I couldn't figure it out. Car bank, huh? Well, you are... See, here's the thing. You're part rock type, but you're very light, so grass knot ain't gonna do shit. So I'm actually thinking of just doing psychic. Stone edge. Alright, that's gonna suck. Oh, that wasn't so bad at all. Wow. I guess carving's attack is really low. Moonblast. And then we'll just disrespect hyper voice. Just do that disrespect. So what's your next... Your next thing after, um... After uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, Payton. Okay, there's where you use Tesseract. Which I believe that, what, W is it? Oh, for the love of... I didn't mean to step forward. Ah. Tesseract. Okay, so I've gone back in time or whatever. Okay, yeah, I've gone back in time. Hey, Mogul, how's it going, man? But what's different? That's blocked off. Maybe I should go further back. But it's all blocked off, so I don't really understand the purpose of going back in time here. Unless... Can I use Tesseract here because I'm close to it? Just come around to the other side and do that? It did work. Now let's see. Aha! Because I remember the um, the whole thing told you you had to be close to the time distortion when you use it. It didn't say you had to be right on top of it. I think I can move these with Psychic, right? I don't really see a good way to do it, though, but... Oh, okay, you don't need that. Another Gigalith. 
Well, okay, we know it has sturdy, so it's gonna survive this. Which sucks. Cause grass knot totally would kill why would you set up stealth rocks? Dope. Yeah, grass knot would totally one shot a gigalith under normal circumstances. The way that move works is that the heavier the Pokemon is, the more damage it does. You're just gonna stay there? Alright. You don't have an animation of going downstairs, that's what it is, right? Alright, you just stay there. Oh, hey, you're here! What did you jump? This looks like some fuck shit. Alright. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. Actually, it looks, like, really easy. Yeah, I figured. That was easy. So this place is pretty... Oh, here's Nora. There's not much further. I can see the end of the cave up there. Wait. You two, kids. Are you the ones I'm supposed to see? You know, back in the day, you had to be an adult to go on adventures. That's not true. I've played Pokemon before. But then again, you were an adult at 14. Things change, I suppose. <laughs> All right. It's officially confirmed my theory that teenagers are considered adults in the Pokemon world. Hey, I'm a killer. How's it going, man? I'm taking a sip of water. Keeping myself hydrated here. Hmm. Nora, John, those are your names, right? Who wants to know? You might be more careful, youngster. That answer was as good as yes. You might know of me, but it doesn't particularly matter who I am. Nobody cared who I was until I put the mask on. Plus, we've been less than cautious in the past, and it didn't end well. Why do you dress like a fantasy king from, like, a much worse game? I shouldn't be taking you... Oh, wait, no, wait, he's the Burger King. Burger King... Confirmed. I shouldn't be talking to you about this, for goodness sake, you're kids. But I trust Calreath. If he says you're ready, then I won't say who I am. However, I will explain what I stand for, then I'm going to give you a parting gift. Oh, it's not your dick, is it? Because I'll pass on that. It'll help, trust me. No, it really won't. It's the Sneak King, that's right, that's real. I work with a very selective group of trainers to guard a very old secret. So I'm going to do the Legendary? You see, you're not the only one who's opposed to these cults. When it comes to legendary Pokemon, especially ones like Dialga and Palkia, reality becomes less concrete. Dialga's been known in the past to mess with time, causing events that weren't supposed to happen. But not everything they do is accidentally. What? What do you mean, hey, screw you? You had Burger King? Ugh, sorry to hear that, Mogul. One Pokemon sits above all others in the Hall of Origin. Is it Giratina? Oh, it's Arceus. Right, right, right. That makes sense. Arceus gathered some of the strongest trainers from all over the Earth, and even from different times, to guard its most prized possession. A crystal. One with enough energy to make and remake worlds. A crystal like the one the Augur has, or had? The one and only. It has unthinkable power. We faked our deaths. We couldn't guard the crystal 24-7 and still live publicly. We were, to, we were to guard it while Arceus sleeps so that no one person could ever hold such power. I lied. I pretended I was corrupted and lost, and abdicated the throne of the Aroma region to join them. The Aroma region? Really? Where do you live, Jazz? I think Burger King is gross, to be honest with you. Like, when it comes to hamburger, like, fast food, I, I would much rather have McDonald's or Wendy's. Specifically Wendy's, because their hamburgers are actually pretty decent, but Burger King just... You live in the Philippines? Wow. Maybe they got different standards there, and, like, Burger King is better. I didn't know you lived in the Phil Philippines. When you said you weren't in the States, I thought you were, like, you know, in somewhere in Europe or something. That's pretty cool, though. Stephen Stone fakes some bizarre death with his Metagrossite. Our leader simply stopped visiting Mount Silver. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. You can't just drop a bomb on me like that and expect me to just not comment on it. Is your leader red? Is red in this game? Holy shit. I hope so. We gave up everything to guard this crystal. Arceus gave us this task. Clearly it was a big deal. And we failed. Wait, it could be Ethan too. Because Ethan did trick up Mount Silver and he beat Red. So, flame broiled my ass. <laughs> uh, what's up, Wade? I hate Burger King so much. Ugh. But maybe it is better in the Philippines. Who knows? Maybe they got like different sauces and shit. It wasn't the first Dawker's fault. It was ours. He was a charming. He was charming and convincing. The crystal should have 
could be used for good, he said. The cults had to go. It was for the best of Torin. We agreed. Who wouldn't? But then he lost, and now the crystal is shattered in the hands of humans. Kids, there are forces, one in particular I'm thinking of, that could be way more dangerous than the cults should they get their hands on this crystal. This is quite an info dump here. I like McDonald's better than Burger King, but like, when it comes, like I said, when it comes to hamburgers, at least fast food hamburgers, I would prefer Wendy's. I don't know there are other chains like Carl's Jr. and like Five Guys and In-N-Out, but we don't have them where I am. You two weren't chosen by Pixie Legendaries except for the creation of the Pokemon. The legendaries of this world were made to serve Arceus and must remain loyal to it. The Pixies in particular are its messengers. But the Pixies aren't legendaries. Do the people who made this game realize that they're mythical Pokemon? Whatever. They weren't the ones who chose you, if you catch my drift. You two are already fighting the cults. I won't ask any more of you. But I just wanted to impress upon you the importance of that crystal. It must be returned to its cavern. We're able to defend it. Yarn has a shard. So does Rukra and the virus he created. Beat the cults by any means, and they can be defeated. but they can be defeated at any time. If she gets her hand on these shards, reality as we know it could end. I digress. I didn't just call you down here for gloom and doom. You like putting five guys in your mouth, Wayne? Well, I won't shame you for that. Nora was wrong. Mew didn't join you to protect you. It stayed away so you would go stronger in its absence. You had lost your memories, remember? You need to redevelop your battling skills all over again. Dude, I'm pretty swicky at this game. What are you talking about? But now I think you have proven yourself. There's a visitor here for you, an old friend. Just across the lake, it's waiting for you. It's? Oh, so it's a Pokemon. All right. That was quite an info dump. Bill, welcome to the stream, and thank you for that subscription with your Twitch Prime. Uh, that is three months now, so very cool. Nothing beats a bag of dicks. <laughs> Put that bag of dicks in your mouth. Oh, oh, something's happening. Why is it foggy? What is... Oh, God. Purple flashing. Meow. Oh, it's Mew, isn't it? Meow. Meow. Okay, game. Three times is, is, is cutting it. Ah, that's loud. Meow. 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 That is indeed Mew. Am I supposed to catch Mew now? Oh, yeah. Level 70 Mew. Well, okay, so synchronize, that's good. Um, Mew's very bulky, but let me just try Hyper Voice and see what happens. Ancient Power, don't you dare get that scummy boost. Me first, really? Are you stupid? This is not a doubles battle, Mew. What's in the box? Barrier, all right. So it goes as defense plus two. I'm using a special attack anyway. All right, let's see if we can throw a ball at this bitch. I don't have a lot of experience throwing balls at Mew, so I don't know what the catch rate really is. Except in randomizers, but I've gotten very lucky with that. One, two, three. Oh yeah, we got Mew. I'm gonna leave it up to the chat. What are we gonna name our Mew? I'm not gonna use it on the team because I have a psychic type on my team, but we gotta give it a name. What should we name our Mew? Oh, Mew, uh, Yuki beat the uh, the guy. Did she stab him in the butt? I think still think that's the best strategy, either that or telling his mom what a dick he is. What should we name our Mew? Cotton Candy? Is there enough room for that? I like that name. Cotton Candy. There's not enough room for that, Mogul. Give me something shorter than that. I mean, I could just do like C Candy, like C dot Candy. I don't know. Pink Blob? Okay, we'll do, we'll go with that. Pink Blob. It's a shiny slug cat. All right, so we officially have Mew. That guy's gone. Oh no, he's here. He's with Nora. All right, hey Nora, let's go. Oh, oh okay. 
So Mew chose to join you. That's fantastic. Now you have a powerful ally to fight with you. Remember what I've said, that crystal cannot fall into the wrong hands, and it absolutely cannot be reassembled by anyone else. This should be your number one priority. But I got two more gyms to do. But anyway, you should go now. I'm sure a friend is waiting to hear from... Wait, hold on. How can we trust you? How do we know everything you said is true? Well, he does have a crown. We've uh, met a couple of people who are not exactly honest with us. Cult members. No offense. I'm a bit offended you waited this long to ask, actually. <laughs> You shouldn't take anyone at their word. Trust people, but verify. Good work. But I'll show you why you can trust me. Come on out, pal. Oh, it's, it's freaking Victini. Okay. As you can see, I'm no cult member. I'm as scared of them as you are. Time to go. Your next stop should be Amphitrite Gym. Calrith's waiting there for you. Watch out, he's no pushover. The version you're playing through in order to get Mew, you have to trade a Dragonite? What? But it's part of the story to get him. I don't want to repair the crystal. I want to beat the gems. That's right. Victini, let's get out of here. Yeah, he should have opened with the Victini thing. Jeez. John, I'm not sure what to think about all this. Some shadowy organization chosen by Arceus? Seems pretty sketchy. But he had a Victini and the Pixies wouldn't choose a liar. Right? I'm going to talk to Harmony about this. You can go challenge the gem. I'll meet you afterwards. A gem with unlimited power. I wonder. Could it cure... Never mind. Oh, she's thinking of her father having the the, the, the friggin' Pokerus virus. Turning into like this half Deoxys blobby bitch. Oh, you're talking about a hack. I, I thought you meant like a version of this game. Kerbinko! Uh. Yeah, I don't really want to fuck with you, Carbink, but alright. Light screen, really? Well, I don't have any physical attacks, so... Okay, doubling up on the light screen, that makes so much sense, I'm so glad. Oh, you did it yourself? That's cool. Oh, God. <laughs> Screw you, Carbink. Well, actually, she's level 65 now, so let me... Oh, wrong, wrong button. Well, actually, I should... I should heal her, though, just in case. No, 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 wrong button. But I was thinking of putting probably Angus in front because Angus is only level 62. Well, Scottish Typhoon returns. Ugh. Ugh, in Begora. I will give you this egg. Shaken. Hit Shaken and Bake and Moogle helped. <laughs> God. Well, I know you're old like me because you remember that fucking commercial. That was a very easy plot, uh, puzzle there. I oh, wait. I wonder. Do I have it like only? No, 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 no. Fuck you. Let me just see if I have like an escape rope to get out of here. Hey, howdy, homies. Well, hipster Seffi, you're a new face. Welcome to the stream. How did you um happen to find me? Out of curiosity. Let me see if I have an escape rope. Because I would really like to just not back all the way out of here. Wait, these are all held items. I Escape rope's not considered medicine. Huh. I don't think I have one. Gibbs, a. Eh? I went Scrooge McDuck for a second. All right. I like to hold on to my money. Horses cannot go upstairs. But they can reappear at the top. <laughs> can one of my mods perhaps place a uh, a link of the Discord in my? Gib, stop licking my damn elbows, bro. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, thank you for the follow. You're looking for things to help with your depression. I feel you, man. I myself have suffered from depression for many years. Um. You're 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 among friends. You're among friends. It's a safe place. As a matter of fact, I really just highly recommend you join my Discord because we're a very positive group. We, um, we're a very positive group. We're very... Um, that's the word I'm looking for. Oh, that's that's not what I wanted. The word, what is the word I'm looking for? We're very um, helpful to people and supportive. Supportive is the word we're looking for. Gibbs thinks I'm a tasty treat. What? Why does it still look like I'm in the past? 
Oh, probably because I hit the wrong button at some point. No, no. <sighs> Tesseract. I think I hit the wrong thing before. Oh, there we go. All right. Highly recommend it. I myself struggle with depression a lot, and yeah, watching Twitch and YouTube and stuff can be very helpful. Talking with people can be very helpful, especially people who understand what you're going through. A lot of people are just like, oh, well, you know, just just, just get over it. Just be, be happy, noob. And that's not helpful. You can't join Discord. Your mom won't let you. How old are you? I mean, our Discord is, um, I don't want to say family friendly, but we're, um, we're young people friendly. I'm not, oh my god, artillery, what the fuck, alright. I'm not, I'm not fighting this thing. You have weird dreams about Sephiroth, Sephir okay, that's not something I've heard before, but, yeah, PG-15 is a good way to put it, Jazz. H how old are you, hipster Sephi? And why do I feel like I actually know you? Like, I feel like I've talked to you before. Alright. Oh, you're gonna be 20? Dude, you're 19 years old. I think it's past the point where your mom can tell you not to go on Discord. You're legally an adult. Just saying. You might have to stand up for yourself a little bit. I'm not saying you like have to join, but I'm saying you, you kinda you kinda gotta get your shit together and stand up for yourself because if you let people walk all over you it's just gonna continue. I have no idea what type this gym is. I guess this guy will tell me. It looks it why is it raining indoors? What is this even? Well it's good, champ. Welcome to Amphitrite. The leader here, Cal Reith, runs a rain themed gym. So water and what else? Just swim your way over. Take this for luck. Right. So you I'm guessing it's water and grass or something. Oh, there's a tr trainer. You'll never get to Calreath. You'll lose right here. I highly doubt it. I'm starting to think that leading with my um, fire type is not the best idea, though. Float soul. Okay. Holy shit, the level 69. Nice. Um... You know, I don't really have amazing counters for um, water types. I really just have, I really just have grass. Not do I even have an electric type? Your parents won't play snake either. <laughs> okay, hipster Seffi, you're funny, man. Wow, uh, did I get nailed or what? Okay, I, I looked away. I was looking at the chat. What what move did I get hit by when I swapped? Hugs. Yeah, he's like, I love you this much. Oh, it's a she, actually. I just noticed that. Super effective. Well, let me read what, what Bill said, because it's important. People who say just get over it when talking to people about depression miss the mark so hard that it defies logic. It's like telling a smoker to just quit. People don't understand why it's not the, that easy. It's true. Oh, God, Hydro Pump. Well, she's dead. Does anybody have electric type moves? Or I'm going to have to like look through my... Well, you would be a bad idea, but I just want to get on where the moves are. Alright. I do not have good answers for water types. So I'm just going to bring Haxer out. I know what you meant. I know what you meant. Pardon me if I don't necessarily believe everything you're telling me right now. Okay. Okay. I have a hard enough time believing that a 19-year-old man would be so, like, I need to play Snake. And that a 19-year-old man's parents would have strong feelings about Snake. Yeah, that's right, he did have Shockwave. Why did I bring Penguin out? I meant to bring Haxer out and I bring back. We definitely got to back up after this and go back to the Poke Center, because this has just gone very pear-shaped very quickly. I really don't have... I, all I have is... Uh, Alright, Tentacruel. Actually, I should have brought Sanderson out for this. But, um... I'm just gonna stick with Return. 
I figure Penguin has very good survivability here being a water type. The reason I got rid of Shockwave is because it was a special move and Haxor's special attack is really bad. You're doubling up on Screech, okay. There we go, we got it. See though, like, the one thing that I do believe that Hipster Chef said is that it suffers from depression. And I think that in a usually important coping mechanism is humor and sarcasm, and that's kind of the way I am, the way that I am. All right, all right, Samurott. I am going to just use Dragon Claw here. Yeah, I wanted Haxer to have an all physical set because her her uh, special attack is really low. Oh, you're. You're a woman. Okay, well, all right. I'm, I apologize for assuming your gender. That's that's my bad. I really should not have done that. Your parents are really protective of you due to your autism. Okay, I believe that. The snake thing, I, I know you're joking. I know you're joking. And that's totally cool because it really, you know, like I said, I, I do the same thing. I do the same thing. Um, Just going to stick to Dragon Claw here. All right, I am woefully not super prepared for this gym. Take down. All right, well, that's not that bad. Lantern's more bulky than anything. But I doubt he has anything. I guess I, what I'm going to do here is I'm probably going to lead with Haxer, even though my um, Angus is, like, the one that needs to be leveled up the most, but he's just, just really going to be useless in a gym that's going to be mostly water types. I'm going to let Haxer stay in front and just hope that I don't get nailed by too many ice-type moves. I wish I could catch them all. My god, they made the swimmer sprite so thick in this fan game. Holy crap. That sprite looked very weird coming out of the water, like I was an old man for a second. Right. First things first. I'm going to put you here. And I'm going to put you, just in case there's doubles battles at any point, here. Let's move the uh, lucky eggs. Wait, who has the other lucky egg? Nobody, maybe. I thought I had two. The thickness is... Yeah, they made, they made the... Um, the swimmer sprite... Very, like, that was definitely somebody like, oh, we need to make it, like, way sexier. And they put, like, way too much thought into the sprite work. Wait, I have this taxi machine piece. I should probably go to the taxi guy and see if he wants that. I mean, he's nearby. I just realized that I never did that last time. Mm-mm. Yeah, I know, but I know about the Delta Gardevoir. I, I think I may have even caught the Delta Ralts at some point. This is my first time playing, but usually my where is Barrel anyway? Usually my friend Doctor Barrel is in here, kind of telling me things like that. Um, thing is, I really don't want like an Electric Ice type. I think my team is really well balanced. I think you know because I have no redundant types. I have a lot of Pokemon that I really like. I have special attackers. I have physical attackers. Yeah, this may be my first playthrough, but um, I'm doing really good, I think. All right, taxi guys, like over here. Let me see. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right, I was just seeing if he would react to the taxi piece that I had. I guess not. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, try this again. Barrel wasn't. Yeah, that was hours ago. He might be. Actually, no, he wouldn't be doing Dungeons and Dragons right now. No, no, Barrel's been going through some shit, unfortunately. <laughs> of course they nerfed Psychic type. First of all, um... Okay, I had to get on top of her, that's just crazy. First of all, in Gen 1, Psychic types were supposed to be weak to Bug and Ghost. But due to a coding error, 
they were actually immune to ghost type and there were no good bug type moves to hit them with and even if they were weak to ghost type the only three ghost types in the game are all poison type and are therefore weak to psychic type but um they fixed that glitch there's better bug type moves and not to mention that there's the dark type as well that they're weak to have you not played any pokemon since gen 1 moogle because you talk about gen 1 a lot Huntail might have Ice Beam, but I'm going to risk it and hit him. Okay, well, thanks. Thanks, Hipster Steffi. Wow, I got nailed by that. I didn't even see what that move was. Was that Hydro Pump? Because that was insane. Um, I was looking at the chat, so I didn't see what I got hit by. It looked. I saw a little bit of the animation. It looked like Hydro Pump. Crunch? Okay. Crunch is fair. Oh, what am I doing? No, 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 no. Oh, you're currently playing through the Gen 3 games? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Let's go for return. So what are you, which one are you doing? Like Ruby or Sapphire or Emerald or, or like Heart Gold, but not Heart Gold, uh, Fire Red, Leaf Green. Like, what are you actually playing? Coil. Ugh. Screw you. Huntail. I honestly forget a lot that Huntail gets Coil because why would you give it Coil when you could totally give him um, what, what is that move? Um, Shell Smash. Your favorite fan games are Dark Rising and Snakewood? Sounds interesting. I think I've heard of Pokemon Dark Rising. Fire Red and Ruby? Okay, cool. That's cool. I like Ruby and Sapphire version a lot. Um, although, to be honest, like, I'm, oh, Outrage? I don't need Outrage. I already have a dragon. No. Nah. To be honest, um, the remakes were way better. Like, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, so good. Oh my god, you have Huntail and Gorbis? All right. Um, I, I'm just, I give him a try and try this. I do have a grass type move. The thing is that Gorbis is not exactly very heavy, so I don't know about this. Let's see what I can get with a grass knot. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, to be honest, because I'm not getting the same type attack bonus, and Gorbis is not heavy. Oh, okay, cool. You you can actually start with a dragon type in this, I believe. Um, Charmander is the, the Delta Charmander's dragon and ghost. But as you could tell, I, I went with Squirtle. Just because I like the idea of a dark and fighting type Squirtle a lot. He looks like a Ninja Turtle. Or at least he did, now he just looks like Bowser. Because I have a dragon that has Dragon Claw. Why do I need, like, dra Outrage? on my water and steel type. And plus the thing about Outrage is you get locked into it for several turns and then you get confused. So like while Outrage is, Tim, thank you so much for the host, good sir. So while, while, while Outrage is technically a more powerful move, it does have the negative connotation of being locked into it. And if they say so they swap in a fairy type, you're just like kind of boned. And uh, like I said, you don't get the same type attack bonus with uh, Empoleon. I would probably, if like it came up, I would probably teach it to Haxer though. Wait, are you saying that that wasn't, uh, you saying that that was Haxer? Oh, well. That's what I get for looking at the chat. Haxer was learning it? Shit. I thought I honestly thought it was the Empoleon because that's was who was on screen. You know what? It's not a big deal because, like I said, you do get locked into it, and the AI in this is very good. So I feel like they would just swap in a fairy type if it was available. I'll stick to Dragon Claw. Why do you have to get on top of these women? That seems really inappropriate. Like, I'm sorry for sexually harassing you, Swimmer Hylia, but I'm just trying to have a Pokemon battle here. Okay, Crawdont. Um. Oh yeah, look at that. I guess I switch trained him. Ooh, just gonna go for Dragon Claw. You don't know what to see in the movies? Dude, you should see Shazam. I heard it was really good.
There's also that, that new um, Jordan Peele movie out, Us. That's another thing that I'd like to see. There's no way that I could possibly go to the movies. The cloister fucking really. Okay, we got a spot. I didn't see Captain Marvel yet, but I've heard really nothing but good things. All right, cloister, cloister. Let's bring Donatello out for this. Hey, here's a new face. Uh, Ashura the Demigod, how you doing? It's a hit. Yeah, I figured it was a hitbox issue. It's just like, there's a lot of issues with this game that make me think that it was not finished. But at the same time, it's just so good that I don't mind that much. I give the Discord link, Jazz. So, uh, Ashura the Demigod, have you, um, just out of curiosity, how have you found my uh, channel? And um, welcome to the channel also. My name is NecroVMX. I do stream every single day a variety of different types of games. Currently going through, as you can obviously see, Pokemon Insurgents. And if you join my Discord, you can be aware of everything that's going on with my uh, Twitch channel, my YouTube channel. See cool pictures of my dogs and just interact with my community. Uh, you love Shazam? I, I really do want to see Shazam because he's uh, like Captain Marvel, meaning the, the Captain Marvel from DC Comics, originally from Fawcett Comics, that is in the Shazam series. is like one of my favorite... Characters. Oh, Quagsire! Okay, this is this is an easy choice. This is an easy choice. You can't go by the trailers, man. Oh, you actually searched for this game? That's cool. Unfortunately, like, there's no category for this on Giant Bomb, so I have to, like, say that I'm playing, like, you know, like Pokemon Let's Go Eevee Pikachu. I actually stream this every uh, every Monday. At least until I'm finished with it. Quagsire does look good. He's all like, I'm fat and happy. I am feeling fat and happy. Oh, I know why. I because it's not an official game, but still, like, there should be, like, a category for, like, Pokemon fan game or mod or something, you know? Alright, there's no reason to have that there. Wait, do I have to, like, use Dive or something? Oh my god, this gym is stupid. I love it. So I gotta like go around looking for like some secret area. Is that the gym leader there? Oh, okay, no, it's not. Some guy just riding a dugong. I'm gonna show you what it's like to battle underwater. Battle player. Tried to stream once, but it didn't work out. So well, I can help you with that, Moke. I haven't had any problems with the game doing that. I don't think it's going to be an issue. Another Quagsire, huh? Quagsire is like, I'm happy! <laughs> wow, that crit. Why would you use... Oh, why, I know why you would use Miss, because you're coded to use an Ice-type move. Because I'm a dragon. You know, if you want a comic book movies that had style and color... Like, first of all, you should definitely see Shazam, then. But, like, don't you think that Doctor Strange had style and color? Like... I kind of don't agree with anything you're saying right now. I'm a killer. And from what I understand, uh, like I said, I haven't seen it. But everybody that I know that's seen Captain Marvel said that it was colorful as fuck. Wow, that didn't do a lot. Dynamic Punch actually hit. Uh, you should see Doctor Strange. It was very good. Yeah, actually, um, I kind of was aware of this game, Tim, from, like, YouTube. But um, I never, like, really looked at it too closely. But um, I think it was Dr. Barrel that asked if I would stream this. And I was just like, why the hell not? I just wanted a hug. All right, level 67. Cool. Politoed. Uh, Politoed's not the heaviest Pokemon, but I think I can get some good damage with the Grass Nut. All right, well, thank you for coming by, Ashura. Lurker Lives Matter. Hope you join my Discord, and hope you come back. All 
All right, let's see if I get good damage. Oh, that, that was pretty ass, actually. Oh no, not Swagger. All right, I can't even take advantage of Swagger because uh, she's a completely special set. So let me swap over to Donatello here. If he hits me with Swagger and I can actually push through Confusion, I can very easily take this guy out. Did he just use Bounce? Holy oh, fuck, all right. Ah, uh, wait, I'm a fighting type. I can't stay in for Bounce. We'll swap to Penguin. There we go. I'm not sure, like, when I finish this, I'm not sure, like, what game I'll replace it with, but I'll, I'll figure something out. Uh, I'm just gonna use Return, I guess. Politoed's usually a pretty bulky boy, so... Okay, you're gonna use Swagger on me. Just taking advantage of all the band moves. God, don't hit your... Oh, fuck. That wasn't too bad, actually. Parish Song? Really? Really? Really, dude? Using Parish Song. Come on. Alright, he's dead. There's no way he survives that. You got an Empoleon plushie? I like Empoleon. A lot of people don't like Empoleon for some reason. I think it's a cool Pokemon. Ludicolo. Well, I absolutely have to swap because I got hit by Parish Song. Uh, for Ludicolo, I'm gonna bring in Donatello just for some neutrality. Oh, here's Barrel. Hey, nerds. Barrel, I'm in this stupid gym. I'm going to use Shadow Ball. No, Dark Pulse. Hey, look at who outsped it when I'm seven levels lower. You went out and bought a new. Oh yeah, you did say that your phone charger was kind of acting up. The, the fucking water gym in Amphitrite. I beat Mew, and I, I caught Mew, actually. So now I'm here. Trying to find the gym leader, but, like, I have to dive, and it's just ridiculous. Did you seriously just use Mega Drain? Are you stupid? I'm doing really well, considering that the levels that I'm fighting against are much higher than me. Hey, Donatello is level 65. It was less fun than I expected. Yeah, that's what, that's what your mom said. Alright, um... Heal. 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 Alright, Jazz. Enjoy your rest. Thank you for coming by the stream. Yeah, actually, I was when when I said that a lot of you know what's funny when I said that hipster Seffy when I I was literally thinking about M and J T V, and I I pretty much I'm a subscriber of his but I never agree with like anything he says about Pokemon designs. On the other hand, I do like his top tens and stuff, but I can't watch his let's plays because he's. Very arrogant. We're gonna go for Iron Head here. Bob Rockle's really dangerous, so... Alright. Well, if he has Shell Smash, he's not trying to use it. I am actually legitimately also interested in seeing Detective Pikachu. If only because it looks really weird and funny. I only ever saw the first two Pokemon movies, and, uh... uh no, hated them. Especially the first one. But, uh, hopefully... Yeah. Napoleon's awesome, I don't know. I don't know how anybody could dislike Empoleon. Milotic. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Yeah, MJ TV is super arrogant when he does his Let's Plays. Like, I remember when I was watching him play through Pokemon Silver, and it was funny because he said it he was playing through Pokemon Silver for the first time. He'd never played Silver version before, or any of the Johto games. In Gen 2. I think he played like Hard Gold or Soul Silver or something, but he hadn't played the original Game Boy Color. And he got him on the 3DS when they came out. And he had this whole plan for like the best team ever. And he went over his reasons for picking the Pokemon. And it was like really weird choices like, like Firo. And I'm like, I really don't understand why you would willingly put Firo on your team. 
And he was just extremely arrogant. And then he was getting his ass kicked, because he really didn't know what he was talking about. I, his girlfriend's really cool, though, um, Jubilee Blaze. I really enjoy her playthroughs. But when it comes to, like, the top tens and stuff like that, I like him better. Well, I'm gonna get wrecked. I really thought that would kill. I guess Ga Gastronon's really small. He's a small boy. But, uh, yeah, I, um... The anime... I, I don't know. I think it's really bad, to be honest, the Pokemon anime. I watched, like, a lot of the first season. I don't think I saw every episode of the first season, but I watched a bunch of it, and I just found it to be just really, really bad. And, uh, I watched the first two movies due to a movie review feature I was doing on YouTube. First movie, literally hated it. Just literally one of the worst movies I've ever seen. The second one... Uh, the one with Lugia, not as bad. Not nearly as bad. It was it was okay. It was still just like an average movie, though. But it was a big improvement. All right. Uh, where's my revives? There they are. I'm not feeling amazing today, guys. I'm sorry. My um, allergies are kind of kicking my ass. There we go. Y'all a bunch of fetuses in the chat. I hope this is taking me where I need to go. Okay, this... Alright. What the shit? I'm in a different area of it. That must be the gym leader. But wait, where does where does this go? Oh, fuck you. How did... How is that a thing? All right. That's... I'm going to go and go to the Poké Center just to restore my PP. I don't understand how that works. How does that door lead me out the same door I came in? That's some bullshit. Yeah, he's youngsters. Hey, Noun! The stream can begin now. Noun's here. Noun, I'm in the seventh gym, and it's so stupid, but I love it. Uh, I don't... I actually do have allergy meds, but I haven't taken them recently because it wasn't so bad, but now it just turned spring, and I've been spending a little more time outside. And Wait, 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 wait. No. Damn it, Hexer. Was it this one that I dove in, or...? No. I really don't want to fight any more of these guys. Oh, damn it. My dragon's like, where you go? Here, this one. Barrel's Gen Z, too. Barrels of youngin. Here we are. All right, let's do this. John, it's good to see you. How was your uh, meeting? I see. He gave me the same speech a while ago. That's how I was able to meet my partner. Listen, he's a bit intense. I trust him though. I hope you do too. <laughs> but anyways, are you ready for our battle? I'm anxious to get started. <clears throat> Greetings, Challenger. My name is Cal Reith. My gym isn't just water gym. I focus on water in every possible way. Okay, so it's water and ice. Even though I've only seen one ice type. In oh, God, my phone's ringing. That is a number I don't know, so I will not answer it. Okay. The ocean, the lakes, the rivers, and yes, even the rain that fills them. The rain is one of the most important natural forces in the world. It keeps the world alive and healthy and keeps the water cycle going. This guy is talking a lot. But it's also one of the most destructive, and I'm about to show you why. Let's do this. But yeah, going back to the whole thing about like MJTV, and while I do enjoy his content, I do find him to be incredibly arrogant. But um, two of my favorite like Pokemon-related YouTubers, who are just definitely not arrogant guys, and 
I do reference them a lot are Dobbs and Original 151. Those guys, I would even though they're like way younger than me, I would totally hang out with them. They seem really cool. You're about to get washed away. Oh god. Witness the wrath of the seas. Nah, because they're usually Robo calls, Wayne. Alright, he's got a full team, and he's starting with OPS Politoed. I know that it's raining. Well, I think it was already raining. I don't think that drizzle was necessary there, but um let's just try a new Dragon Claw. Oh my god, it's a mega. Dobbs is great. Dobbs is literally one of my favorite YouTubers. I would so just chill with him. Oh wow, he looks like a fucking genie. Okay. I bet that increased his weight a lot. Okay, Ice Beam, that's bad. I could probably take it, but... Or not, or I can just faint. That's cool. No, what I do, when I do answer the rubble calls, is I answer and I don't say anything. That usually fucks with them pretty good. Munching Orange. Not familiar with that. Oh, hey, that's a new face, actually. Pokemon 97, Majin Buu 97. That's a long-ass name, but welcome to the stream. My name is NecroVMX. I stream every single day, and I'm sure one of my lovely moderators will put a Discord link where you can join my community and have lots of fun. All right. I'm willing to bet Grass Knot would be pretty pretty strong against this guy because he looks really big. Let's hope they... Okay, they clearly did not code him right because that that's the damage it would do to a regular Politoed. They tried to call your phone using your phone number. Legit. Alright, I have a feeling I'm about to get my ass kicked here. Oh, full restore? Fuck off. A Discord server, you say? Yes, I do. I'm not familiar with Munching Orange. Um. Yeah, this is bad. I'm just going to try and hit him again. With Moonblast. Just get some damage in. Scald. Alright. Okay, so it's got Scald and it's got Ice Beam. Alright, Pangan. Pangan double resists Ice and resists Water, so... And I can just use Return here for, like, Hidden Power what? Okay, probably Hidden Power Ground, I would imagine. Is it water electric? It hasn't used any electric type moves. It's got a hidden power, which I'm assuming is hidden power ground, or possibly hidden power fighting. Scald. And, um... Uh, ice beam. Another fucking full restore. I've never watched Pushing Up Roses. Um, I, yeah, I grabbed a few of the Deltas along the way, but, um, like, the two that I have, like, I, I think I have a really balanced team. Oh, it's got Psychic. Okay. So, and we know what all of its moves are now. All right, since this guy can't really do much to Pengen, I'm going to use this opportunity to heal up my team a little. Because he doesn't have any setup moves or anything to really fuck with me. I mean, Hidden Power is his best option. But he's not spamming it for whatever reason. Now he's going to spam Hidden Power. Oh, well, welcome back, Barrel. Dark Fairy Roserade in the library. I don't think I caught that one. I caught a few of them along the way. Like, I definitely caught the Eye Palm. Oh, Hidden Power Electric? Okay, that makes sense. You know what that means. I could totally swap Sanderson in, but then again, he would just hit Sanderson with Scald on the next turn, so... Let's not do that. It's a three-hit kill with Hidden Power, and Hidden Power... Doesn't critical a lot, so. If this thing had Calm Mind, I'd be... T yeah, definitely. Definitely. These gyms have been very difficult. All 
All right. It's a good thing I have hyper potions. This is how. Oh, I just healed the wrong Pokemon. This fucking UI is terrible. Well, I'm. He's dead. Fuck. All right. None of them are really safe, but I'll bring Donatello in. He actually doesn't have much to hit him because he can't hit him with Psychic, and everything else is neutral. Yeah, that's okay. No, we'll, we'll use a revive. It's a good thing this this money this game throws money at this money throws game at you. Yeah. Hey Al, how's it going? Dream Realm Gym is that like the eighth gym? I've never gotten a Nigerian style scam, but I have gotten the um, IRS scam. And boy, did I fuck with them. I actually have a video up where I called them back and fucked with them. Right, you're just spamming hidden power, so let's see if I can get away with doing this. Oh, uh, why did you... You input reading whore. There's no way you just decided to use Scald there. Unless you ran out of PP. Alright, let's, let's bring Penguin back in. Cheating bastard. Yeah, 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 fuck you. All right. Oh, wrong button. I actually don't get a lot of scams in email. Well, you see, Gmail I don't. Yahoo I've never really used. God, and there's five more Pokemon to deal with. I keep hitting the wrong button. Yeah, the scam phone calls are pretty much an everyday thing. Sometimes I fuck with them if there's another person, if there's like an actual person on the line, but a lot of times I just answer, but don't say anything. And that usually makes them hang up immediately. The problem is that Gibbs usually starts whining and crying whenever I'm on the phone. Fucking critical hit. Oh my fucking god. I've used D-Bay way back in the day. All right. Can I finish him off a Shadow Sneak? I cannot. Alright, so my other thought here is... Bring you out. And just start healing again. This has just gone really badly really fast. Like, the last, like, three gyms I did, I did really good. So I was starting to think, like, hey, I'm getting better. I'm not going to lose to gyms anymore. And then this one. Definitely going to need to buy items after this. Nice beam. All right. Oh, yeah, eBay's definitely better for buying than selling. There's no doubt about that. Do you know when you get the IRS scam and they tell you that they're going to send the police to arrest you? The best way to deal with it is just say, okay, cool, I'll wait here for the police. Great Dragonite. Oh, I don't have any ice type moves. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, I know what I need to do. At least the steel types out that can avoid any dra that can absorb dragon stuff pretty well. But I need to do that. Did that not heal him all the way? Holy crap! Earthquake. Okay, so we know he has earthquake. I haven't used eBay in a long time. He's going to outspeed me. He's going to kill me. I need a fucking burn heal here. Yeah, Amazon's definitely better for buying. Why would you use Hurricane and not a Dragon type move? And why did it do that much fucking damage? No, oh, wrong button, wrong button. No, oh, you guys, I think this is going to be one of those days here. This is the story of Hurricane. A man the authorities try to blame. Oh my god, Hurricane has low accuracy and he just hit me with it three times in a row. 
All right, at least I got my rock tomb off. Oh, barrel. You told me that too late. I had already clicked it. I didn't know he has a weakness policy. I'm dead. Dragonite with weakness policy. And I didn't even get the... Oh, I did get the speed drop, so there is that. I'm dead. There's nothing I can do. Oh, got another speed drop. Five times he hit me with Hurricane. He hasn't missed a single time. Well, I know this will hit him. There we go. Double up. G fucking Greninja, too. And by the way, what does Dragonite have to do with the rain? It does smell like bullshit, doesn't it? Hey, uh, Barrel, since you're on the wiki. Is this a Battle Bond Greninja or a Protean Greninja? Alright. I've actually bought my Nintendo 64 at Funko Land when I was 17 year old. Oh, it's Protean. Okay. Transformed. Ice type. Yeah. I'm dead anyway. There's nothing I can do. I hate to say it, but I think I know what, what's going to happen here. I'm not at a high enough level to beat this. There's just no way. Maybe I can outspeed him and hit him with Flare Blitz here. Nope. He, he, he's faster. Yeah. And he's got a life orb. That's just overpowered. Ice beam. Yeah. Yeah, th there's no way. Um, so I'm going to have to do some grinding. And because you guys do not want to watch me do grinding on a stream. Because fuck, right? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to save. We're going to. We're going to. Wait, we're not going in there. What am I doing? What am I doing? Wrong thing. We're going to save the game. And between this stream and the next stream, I'm going to grind up levels, get everybody to like maybe level 75 would be reasonable, and I should be able to do that. But what we're going to do now is we're going to play a little Binding of Isaac just to sort of, uh, I don't want to end the stream now. It's too early for that. So let me just, uh, let me bring up Binding of Isaac. We'll play a little bit of that just for funsies. And between this, like I said, between the end of this stream and the next stream, I will I will do some grinding. I'll like watch Twitch or something in the background while I grind. All right. So There we go. So Oh, it's all big. What? Let's get that actually fitting in there. That was all out of frame. That's what it was. All right. Okay. He's got a 6th gen electric normal lizard, too. Are you... Okay. You could just say the name of the Pokemon. Oh, well, I know you would watch me grind on stream, Tim, but I wouldn't watch me grind on stream. Let's do a uh, random. Polyon, okay. Why can't I move? Oh, I know why, because I had Joy to key on. Let me turn that off. Okay, that should fix it. I still can't. Game. I think I need to I think I need to shut it down and bring it up. Because it It's confused about my controller. Because I brought it up with Joy to Key up. In this particular game, Moogle, I've noticed that grinding doesn't take that long, especially since there is a built-in speed-up button into the game. But I'll just do it while I'm working on other stuff or, you know, whatever in the background. Oh, let me also change the game, the category on Twitch to Binding of Isaac real quick. Hold on one second, guys. 
I need Slayer to finish that freaking bot of already. All right, so we're changing it to. Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. And we'll change the title too. Alright, Dunzo Magunzo. Alright, guys. Let's do this. I don't want that. Alright, so I got Tears and Range out of that. Cool. Key. So sorry for the people who came here specifically for Pokemon, but I'm not going to grind on stream. I think it's boring to do and to watch, personally. Yeah, no. So we'll play this for a while. How many times have I randomly encountered a shiny Pokemon while farming? Um, the only time that has... Or are you talking about farming specifically for shiny? Because I've never tried that. I've never done shiny hunting before. But I'll tell you, the only time that I've randomly encountered a shiny in a legit Pokemon game was uh, in Heart Gold version. When I was grinding up, it was my first time playing through it, and I was grinding up for Mount Silver, so I was at the Mount Silver foothills, and I ran into a shiny Ponyta, and I did actually catch it. So that's really cool. So actually, that's uh, the only legit shiny that I got other than like, like Gyarados that you always get. And, you know, Pokemon Go, which they're a lot more common in Pokemon Go than they should be. I do have some interesting ones in Go. The first Mowl I ever fought in Pokemon Go turned out to be a shiny, and I did catch it, so that was cool. But like I said, the only legit shiny from, like, a legit Pokemon game that I have is Ponyta. I'll take that. Yeah. It's only happened once, and it may happen again in the future, but... Sometimes you run into shinies on Pokemon Showdown, which is actually kind of funny, because it, you know... You'll have a random shiny, or your opponent will have a random shiny. But I play a lot of Showdown, so... I guess I could have swapped over to Showdown instead of Isaac, but whatever. We're playing Isaac. I, I probably should have switched over to Showdown, though, now that I think about it. But whatever, we'll, we'll do this. I don't have a scene set up for Showdown, so that would have taken longer. I have a scene set up for Isaac. There we go. There's no way, that at the level that I'm at, no way I was going to be able to do that. Oh, oh, alright, I'll go back for it. To try and not play like complete shit, I'm only going to look at the chat when I've cleared a room. Right, let me go back and get that key. I mean, I'm still going to be answering questions and interacting with you guys, but I got to not make the hap. For some reason, like I could look at the chat while I'm playing Mortal Kombat and not have too much of a problem with that. But this game, mm, major issues. That's hella hours for platinum, holy crap, I just saw that. There's two marked rocks on this floor, and I have no bombs, because of course not. Uh, whatever, we'll just leave it there. What I'd like is to get a bomb or two. A poop slime has appeared. Command. Three mark rocks, but zero bombs. Go figure. Maybe I should have picked up the glitter bombs item. I would have had bombs for this floor. Oh well. Getting a tears up is worth it. <coughs> Not that bombs appear in the poop. Alright, let's go in here. Monstro! And of course it's the two little ones, which I find to be more annoying than the one big one. Not more difficult, just more annoying. Alright, he's done. 
Get racked, scrub. I'll take that. You never got the appeal of shinies? It's just because they're rare. That's really the only way I can explain it. It's because they were. Some of them are really cool. Some of them are not so cool. Like, Shiny Pikachu is really lame. But like I said, it's just, it's literally just. Um, also, um, in Gen 2, when Shinies were introduced, whether a Pokemon or not, well, blah, 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 blah. whether a Pokemon was shiny or not was actually dependent on the Pokemon stats. So a shiny Pokemon also had really good stats. Uh, they've changed it since Gen 2, though. Oh, why did I stand there when I saw that it was an exploding one? Like, I literally saw that and still just was like, oh, this will be fine. What can possibly go wrong? Now I got a bomb. Go figure. Also, a lot of the shinies from Gen 2 were kind of just pink. Don't know why. There's a lot of green ones and there's a lot of pink ones. Seems to be the two most common things for shiny. I have a feeling about this wall. Alright, well, it wasn't totally worthless. Yes, I did see that, Bill. I wish I hadn't, but I did see that. At first it was funny, until... Well, you could probably guess what part I kind of was like, no, done with this. It's funny, is that Lickitung actually could not learn Lick in Gen 1, like, at all. Like, you just could not get Lick. Oh! I just realized I saw the item room and I never went in it. Let's go down there and do it. No. Oh, tech 2? No. Alright, well I only got range. Shiny Pikachu was not pink. It was just a slightly different yellow. Mogul, you know which part of the video it was. It's probably the part where you unzipped your pants, too. I mean, you we have very different reactions. You unzip your pants, I throw up in my mouth a little bit. Oh god. Oh god. I hate this guy. He's not even that hard. It's just so much of the time you can't hit him. I would rather they gave him double the health he has and be able to always hit him. There we go. Yes, I do want that. Oh, you didn't see the video? Well, you'll see it and you'll know. I'm not going to talk about it. it. It's gross to me. See, Bill, you're right. I, it's cringy. And the comments were also cringy. Wow, you're helping me out a lot here with these bombs. You opened the secret room. You found a pill and a trinket. That's cool. What is this? Ansys? We'll pop that right away. Ah, oh, really? I just got health up and you're going to give me health down? Dick, dick move, son. Dick move. Let's see what this arcade has in it. Just a bed? All right. Actually, oh, I kind of want to go back there and blow up that guy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wow, that went badly. That went really bad. Um, well, now I can use the bed. Yeah, Al. Yeah. It did say touch fuzzy, get dizzy. References. What's this? Fucking amnesia, are you kidding me, game? Holy crapple. This game has so many references to other games, it's like... It would take a, a whole wiki just to catalog them all. Ah, fucker. Fuckle. Fuckula. Count Fuckula, ha. Ah. This is a bad room of nope. Alright, that helps a bit. I 
Hey Nick, how's it going? Look at me not playing Pokemon. <laughs> Are you a big Yoshi's Island fan now? Oh, fucking really? I forgot that that tentacle can actually hit you. No, no Pokemon. Urgh. I got to the seventh gym and I was just like, wow, I am way under leveled here. So I decided I would grind off stream. And in the meantime, we'll just finish out the stream with a little uh, Binding O. Isaac. Lordy. Yeah, having half a heart here is real. And I see you there, Gibbs. You're going to start licking my elbow, aren't you? Please don't. Please don't, okay? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. LOL. Yeah. Guys, Moogles, Moogles unzipped his pants. He's unzipped his pants. You know what's funny is that Yoshi's Island was legit, like, one of my favorite Super NES games. And when I went to do my... Um, let's play of it my skills had deteriorated to the point where i was just like oh god why is this my favorite again but i still i still loved playing through it chariot okay so possibly the best timing to get the chariot uh yeah luck and range okay or shot speed actually i think <sighs> hey, Asher. Yeah, I swapped over to Isaac because of um, I was under leveled, and I realized that if I was going to beat that gym, I'm going to have to grind. And nobody wants to watch grinding on screen. I, like I know people will say, "Oh, I'll watch it," but I don't. I find it boring to do on screen, on stream. So I'll just do it like when I'm doing something else, like like have something going in the background and grind up for next time. You suck at Isaac? Everybody sucks at Isaac at first, man. This game takes a ridiculous amount of practice. Like a stupid amount of practice. Thankfully, I have all that practice. Unfortunately, I'm at half a heart here and have been for quite a while. What are we fighting? Oh, this fucking asshole. Alright. You, sir, are a dick. A dick munch. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. The dogger doesn't need to know about that. Ah, fuck. All right. No, 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 Oh, not Eve. Oh, I don't like Eve. All right. Might as well pop it right away. All right, there is a Mark truck there. That went well. Oh, eh. Ooh, I do like Matt's kidney stone. Did I stream this drunk? Wow. I remember streaming drunk. I don't remember doing this particular game. Why did I pick up that heart? Well, I'm nerfed as fuck. I'm sure I played like ass. Like, I always play like ass when I'm streaming this game. Like, right now. But I was doing it drunk. I think I remember I was hitting the whiskey and doing a stream, but I don't remember what games. Oh, fucking really? Uh, well, that's an extra life. Was it only this game? Or did I play a bunch of different things? Wait, where am I going? Why, why would I... You know what? Yeah, I'd like to find bombs, actually. So I can maybe get some armor. Well, this is this is a bunch of nope right here. <laughs> Fuck, I did not think that would hit me. No, no, we're not playing as the Lost like that. Alright, let's just... I'm actually going to just pick the character... We're going to go with the Lost. Just this game? Oh, wow. Curse of the Labyrinth right away. Oh. Wait, do I want this or not? 
I don't think I do. I know it gives you bombs, but at the same time, I think you just, like, poop random bombs when you're, like, shooting for a while. Like, you shoot for five seconds, and you'll poop a random bomb, and you can wind up getting very killed by that. I'll look at chat in a moment. Isn't it butt bombs that does that? No, butt bombs gives you the butt bombs, but the ones that actually make you poop the bombs from shooting for a certain amount of time is number two. And it gives you butt bombs. Are you talking about Enter the Gungeon? I have that game. I'm really bad at it. Oh, really? I guess I'll take it. Junker Necro stream was a long time ago. It was years ago. Ooh. This bitch. Uh -huh, I win. Verp? Alright, well, I'll keep that in mind if I get a good thing. Pooping bombs, yep. You never thought you'd hear that? Video games make you say the weirdest things. There's a lot of things that I've said that I never thought I would say because of games. Get a run with Brimstone, mega, Magic Mushroom, Holy Mantle, and a lot of other damage ups, and you still lost before even getting to Mom. That's rough. That's rough. Well, hopefully I'll have at least one good run to show you. I usually play way worse on stream than I do off stream. Yeah, Slain's a dope game. Dope, dope game. Oh, get that. You know, what's interesting is that Julie got me that game, right? And I didn't play it for a long time because um, when she first got it for me, it was like, I looked at the game and it, even though it looked awesome, the reviews for it were like insanely bad. Like everybody was just like saying what a terrible game it was. But I think it was still an early access uh, now we're restarting. I'm not. This is a this is a wash. This run. So um. Yeah, they apparently they unfucked the game. Another XL floor. Interesting. Bulky motherfucker. <laughs> Whatever. The biggest thing about this game is learning the way the enemies move and attack. And then immediately assessing the danger that each enemy in a room poses and, and trying to kill off the ones that pose the most danger. Also unlocking all the items. Hey, Lucky Penny. I mean, unlocking better items does help, though. And also, you know, you also have to learn about what item does, what each, which each, yeah. what each item does, and uh, see, that's a good item, but I think I can do better. Yeah, I think I could still do better. Wait, I don't think two key two coins is gonna do it, but oh, okay. I guess I'll pick up that. Orbitals are always good. Yeah, I mean, I'd heard of Slain when it was like, uh, I think in Steam Greenlight or something, and then uh, it looked really cool, but I had to wait for it to be better. Vaguely anime-like? No, it was nothing like anime. Dude, I did a Let's Play of it. <laughs> are you, like, not watching my channel at all?
Go freaking hit the freaking bell. Hate that bell. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, it's not like I got a choice. I don't know, a couple of years ago. Not that long ago. Well, the benefit of the XL floor is only if it's the first floor, like it is right here, is that you get two item rooms that you don't need a key to unlock, which can be hugely beneficial to hoard a few keys. Other than that, it's crap. Total and complete crapitude. All right. This asshole. All right. It's not safe to try and go in with mom's razor on this guy. I'm just going to have to fight him normally. Oh. No, Gibbs, don't, don't do that, please. You're being rude. Why are you even barking? I'll go chat in a moment, guys. So somebody said something about how you play better when you're at low health. It's kind of why I play better is the loss, because he doesn't have any health. Hey, <laughs> just that doggo. Dude, when I raided Retro Vixen, I've been looking to raid her for like a while. So it was nice because she took a bit of a break from streaming. And when I saw the, like, the way that she had Twitch Sing set up where the emojis would appear on screen and we were just spamming the Gibbs emojis and they were floating all over. I did clip that, which is, oh, this asshole. He dashes twice. All right. That was so cool. Okay. Sorry. Text from Facebook. Don't, no, don't push on my, no. The decapitation, oh, I actually do not like that. Oh, wait, are, are you talking about um, guillotine, which is I don't like? Or are you talking about um, pinking shears or whatever it's called? The pinking shears is really good, like totally top level shit. He's done. All right. All right, I'll take the damage up. <laughs> yeah, pinking shears, really good item. <laughs> Almost got death metal there. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a really good item. Like it, that's like top level item. They're only a f oh, fucking curse of the lost. There are only a few items that, like, if I was carrying a D6, that I would willingly give up the D6 to take. And that's one of them. Okay, 
Okay. We made things happen. The only bad thing about uh, pink, the, the body that the pinking shears gives you that runs around and attacks enemies is that some some bosses it has a hard time targeting, like Hush. Like, you'll just stand next to Hush a lot. Also, Satan. It does the same thing sometimes. Keys for days, that's real. What I would like to get is a uh, trinket that I can internalize with my gulps, but uh, hasn't happened yet. This guy, I think, will explode, too, so... Come on! There we go. And somehow the explosion didn't take out the pustule, because... <laughs> games. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, Zazel does make fighting the bomb flies pretty... Less than trivial. Sometimes you just know. Fuck off. Wait, hold on. I, yeah, it wasn't going fast enough. If I had more speed, I could have totally used it to blow up that guy. What's happening? Hold on, I gotta look. Oh, thank you for the follow, Ashura. Hope you enjoy all of my content. I hope you have a great time. Oh, well, there's the boss room, but I don't think I've gotten an item room on this floor yet. Can somebody actually tell me if I got the item room on this floor? Because I am not remembering. And I think it's a no, but it might be a yes. Hey. I hate these amnesia floors. Bum 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 bum. You're looking. I don't think I've gotten the item room. I did? What did I get? Oh, Luckfoot. That's right. Okay. Thank you. Two hearts. That's useless. Why, Moogle? Not understanding what you're saying there, sir. This asshole. Alright, this guy's got like hardly any health, so this is not gonna be a problem. The Husk. Husker do. Ah, oh, useless. Anything good in here? Yes! Okay, the mark is a good one. Oh, hi, mark. Mm. Drunk your fucking water. Oh, if you stream, you'll stick with retro games? Hey, man, there's a, there's a huge market for that. Nothing wrong with streaming retro games. Not everybody has to be playing Sekiro right now. Oh, fuck off. All right. Okay, did the razor just like not work on him? Let's take a peek what's over here. Ooh, I kind of want it. Oh shit. Well, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna die. Like, as soon as I saw that I get hit like that, I'm like, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Amiga games, that's cool. Why do I keep getting XL floors right away? Not that I'm complaining, because it helps me with keys, but. Sharp Shore is a good item, but it may not have been worth it. Like, that particular boss is one of the more annoying ones to do as the Lost. Hmm. 
That's good to have. Really? Sticky nickel. You mean an emulator? Are you talking about an Amiga emulator? Oh, <laughs> uh, actually, if, if any character can benefit from... Uh, Rude! If any character can benefit from this stupid item that's terrible, it's this guy. Nah, Gibbs, that's really rude. You're being rude. Normally I'd leave that there, but... Alright, Poison Tears, that's decent. But like I said, if there's, a, if there's one character that I would willingly pick up Cursed Eye Shot, it's the Lost. So the way the Cursed Eye Shot works is not only do you get this, like, charge thing where you shoot multiples, but... Gibbs! But if you get hit uh, by an enemy that makes contact with you, or shoots you, while you're charging, you will be randomly teleported out of the room on damage. The issue with that is that this guy can't take damage. He's just being loud because... The garage door is opening, and he's got to be like, Oh my god. Something happened. Damn it. He's not looking to get hit there. I know, Gibbs. I know. Everything's upsetting right now. Got him. Alright. There we go. Pin! But you saw how I lost my mantle and I didn't get teleported out because I was, um... didn't take damage. The cursed I shot actually procs on damage. So, since it's impossible for me to take damage without dying... It's actually a good item for him. Ooh, okay. Gunny! Jesus. No, Gibbs, stop it, all right? Curse of Darkness, because of course, why not? And other Castlevania games. Stop licking my elbows. Thank you. Oh, actually, I don't have a key, but there's one right there. Oh, hello. There's a good item, and yes, good item. Buh. That's scary. Gibbs, no, 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 no. Get off of me, man. I'm trying to play this. You know the schedule, and I know it's different this week, but today is the same. Stop licking my pants. That's weird. You're weird. Just licking my elbow. Like, I get he's affectionate and all that, but, like, dude, like, at some point, just stop. Sometimes he's a little too affectionate, you know what I mean? So usually when I see Cursed Eye Shot, I'm like, Oh, hell no, to the no, 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 hell to the no. But, I saw it and it worked out for this particular guy. For the loth. Wait, I heard a coin hit the ground. He's fixed already. He was fixed when we got him. Ugh, really, Chad? I don't mind fighting you, but the item you give is not useful to this particular character. It's garbage, as a matter of fact. I'm 
Lunge at me, bro. Chad. Go back to the other game that you came from. Yeah, so this is useless. And I didn't get a double room. Go figure. Hey, no curse. Look, man, no curse. Fuck. Swick. See, all Chad does is output red hearts, which I can never pick up, so. Kind of not helpful. Super not helpful. Hey! Everything's alright! Uh, no. Don't even have enough keys. Ooh. Yeah, we'll take that. Everything's coming to Millhouse. <laughs> I don't know why I chose to say that in a uh, Rodney Dangerfield voice, but you know, whatevs. What do we have here? Okay. Useless. Kind of curious. Ugh, garbage. All right. A dime. A penny. No respect. No respect. I tell you. I get no regard. Oh god. That is really bad. We're all gonna get laid. Oh god. Fucking cock ass. Hey, giggity time. Hey, everybody. We're all gonna get laid. All right. This might prove useful. It's Mogul. It's Jesse. It's special time. -da 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 -da. I thought that might be. I thought that might be a thing. Come on. We got to have at least one successful run here. So what's up, Jesse? How you doing, sir? How you doing? How you, how you, how you doing? I'll take that. He talks to boogers. I'm trying very hard to only look at the chat when I'm in a cleared room. It's not working so well. I keep glancing over when I see it move. <laughs> hey, fuck right off there. Ah, oh, no, 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 fail. Bling. Oh, my bad. What do we got? Horf? All right, whatever. The haint! I'll look at the chat when I'm done with this asshole. 
I remember when I was trying to get completion marks for the Lost on the Vita version, like, before I was even decent at this, really. Well, I was decent, but, like, not as good as I am today. And this guy was the fucking bane of my existence. I hadn't yet figured out to do that. Nose Goblin. This guy's just about done. Alright, cool. You love the Mega Man 9 Let's Play? Cool. Oh, fucking useless ass item. Mega Man 9? It did kind of remind me a little bit of 4. I like 4 more, but... 999. I actually already have the Mega Man 10 Let's Play in the can. It will be uploaded at some point. I can tell you guys exactly uh, the schedule. If you give me a moment. Let me look at it real quick. So, as you guys know, I'm currently uploading Injustice as my action game. After Injustice is Duke Nukem Forever. Yeah. It was terrible, but it'll be funny. Then Biomenace, which is an old like DOS game. Then, why am I no longer hearing music? Hold on. Hold on a second. Oh, my headphones just like fucked up. I may need to just plug the other ones in. These are the ones that were still fucked up. Come on. Come on. I hate when it does this shit. Alright, well let me continue to go over the... Uh... Can you guys hear the music? Or is it completely dead? Yeah, Biomenace is hard as balls. I may have to just swap out the headphones at this point. It's dead? Alright. Hold on. Well, I think it's time to retire these. Let me try unplugging them. And plugging them back in. Alright, I, I only need one person to answer me, really. Alright, now the headphones... They've been giving me issues. I think I'm going to have to... Just... just bite the bullet and get the ones that um, AJ bought me, which is the same exact headphones. It's just... All right. Um, yeah, this sucks. All right, let me just go... You know what? I think we're going to end the stream soon, to be honest. So just, I'm having so many issues. But let me go over the rest of the schedule. So I'll say it. Um, so after Bio Menace is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. After that is Metroid, the original Metroid. Part of that was recorded drunkenly, so it's a little weird, but... Not all of it. Yoshi Safari is after that. Um, and then a Doom mod called Hell Revealed, which is this really hard, like Slaughter Wad from back in the day. Um, Kirby's Dream Land 2. Super Bomberman. Quake 2. Mega Man 10. And then Muramasa Saw the Demon Blade, which was partially streamed on Twitch, so you guys might have seen part of that. Now for RPGs. Um, somebody said Xenosaga. I'm not doing Xenosaga. I'm doing Xenoblade Chronicles. After that, which is a while. A while after that is um, Final Fantasy IV, and then Sanctus Mortem, uh, Ultimate Exodus, which unfortunately didn't have any game audio because I fucked up when I recorded it, and then Breath of Fire IV, The Unfading Ones, which I'm still recording. But um, let me swap out the headphones, guys. Just give me a moment. We're going to be ending the stream soon anyway, but I think it's time to retire these headphones because these are the ones that... What happened was Gibbs chewed on the wire, and... The chewing on the wire didn't really kill them, but what it did do was it got it all wet. Oh, thank you for the bits, sir. Uh, stream is all over the place, yeah. That's, that's real. So what happened was, uh, Gibbs, you gotta move. You can't be underneath me because I'm getting up. Come on, move. I haven't had them that long. Uh, they were a Christmas gift. And that's why I was kind of upset with Gibbs for chewing on them because... Well, he chewed on the wire. Um, they did show life after that. They, I, I got them working by taping it up and letting it dry and everything. But recently, it's been doing this thing where they cut out completely. And then... Um, oh, it's wedged. There we go. And sometimes fiddling with the part that he chewed would help. But it wasn't helping. 
Now, AJ had actually bought me replacements as the same exact headphones, but I didn't want to just put them in right away because my fear was that if I swap over to the replacement headphones, then he'd chew on the new ones. But I think we got him to the point where he knows not to do that. So here's the headphones that, that AJ got me. They're still in the box. So they're not expensive. They're actually really affordable headphones, but they're really good for what you get. Now I'm hoping because they're the same exact type of headphones as I had, excuse me, gifts. I'm hoping that I just plug them in and like everything's the same, like all my settings and everything, because it literally is just a replacement goldfish. All right. Oh, I gotta cut that open, huh? Gibbs is very interested in what I'm doing. He's like, you're not usually moving around so much when you're streaming. Oh, they were plugged in, but it's a USB device. It's not like a direct current going through it, you know? Mostly he just got them wet. They're not plugged into the wall. They're plugged into the computer. All right, I'm gonna take this twine off. And I think he didn't realize it because he's never he's never chewed on wires like that. Yes, Gibbs, I'm talking about you. But I think that because it's got that braided protected cord that he uh, he thought, oh, this is something I can chew on. This is a nice texture. It's got a good mouth feel. I'm just gonna chew on this shit. So let's see. First, let's plug it in. Oh, it's got a protector on the USB. That would have that would have been annoying. Oh, yank that off of there. Plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. All right, let's see. Let's drape this across there. And let's see if I got sound. Oh, they're tight. Let me loosen them up. All right, I'm not hearing anything. I'm not hearing anything. Well, they do work because it lights up when I hit the mute button on it. But I was really just hoping that I would plug it in and it would immediately work. Let me try uh, something else here. I might have to set the settings here. Okay, so let's see. This is my desktop audio. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Let's see. Let me try and like, let me, let me turn the game off. I'm just gonna go to the uh, ending screen here because we are gonna end very soon. Let me try and bring up like a YouTube video and see if I, because I was in the middle of the game so I didn't know if it was gonna. I might have to like restart Streamlabs before it lets me hear anything through it. So I'm just gonna like, I didn't want YouTube Studio, I just wanted YouTube.com. Ridiculous. Let me just bring up like a random ass YouTube video here. How good was Pidget actually, whatever. Okay, well, we got sound, but um, did you hear that by the way guys, when I brought that up? Let me, let me bring Isaac back up and see if it works. Tell me, I'm, gonna bring, I'm bringing Isaac up right now. Tell me if you guys can hear it. Because I hear it. It's actually really low. Oh, there we go. You don't hear it. Yeah, it's not broadcasting because I think I have to... I think I have to restart... Um, uh... That's weird though, but do, let me play a YouTube video and see if you guys hear that. Let me do it in Firefox so there's no ads. Uh, where, what are we gonna play? Here, Pawn Stars. Is there something wrong with the AC in here? The AC is fine. You guys can hear that, right? Okay, because yeah, I see it pinging off. So why... 
male menopause. Why uh why isn't Isaac coming through? Oh wait, I might have to re I might have to reset the settings in Isaac. I want to figure this out real quick before we raid. By the way, thank you thank you so much for the bits, Bill. Yeah, the stream is kind of all over the place, but what can you really do? For some reason, I can hear Isaac, but you guys can't. Oh wait, wait. Is that it? I, I did restart it though. It, you should be able to hear it now. You should be able to hear the game. I'm gonna just switch back over here. I don't know why it isn't showing the game. Oh, there it goes. All right, let me know if you guys can hear it. I'm just gonna like derp around a little here and you tell me if you can hear the audio. It seems like it is broadcasting the audio. It's ultra low. I think I can fix that. Yeah, some of my settings got reset. All right, I just raised it up. Is that better, guys? Let me know how it is now. I got. I want to get my settings up before I tr would try to stream again. All right, I raised it. Is it better now? Gotta wait for the latency to catch up. Not really. Hmm. Hold on a second. All right, now it's at maximum. Can you hear it better now? I mean, it's supposed to be a little low, okay? Like, you guys get that. It's not. Uh, it's supposed to be not as loud as I am. You get that, right? I'm hoping you guys understand that. But just as long as you can kind of hear it, you know, that you can make it out and everything. I think I think things will get better once I restart Streamlabs, but... Um, like, it should be a pretty good mix. You know what, let me bring Twitch up myself and look. You can hear it a bit more now? Yeah. It's actually as loud as it's going to get right now, but I think if once I restart Streamlabs, it'll be fine. But anyway, um, thank you guys for coming to the stream today. Thank you so much for bearing with me with all the bullshit that has gone. Uh, we're going to we're gonna go ahead and do a raid. I don't know who I'm going to raid. Let's find out. Um, let's make a decision. I haven't looked really into who's, who's streaming right now. Oh, okay, yeah. So I went over the I went over the let's play schedule. I'm also gonna go over this. Okay, nobody that I was rating, so we're gonna pick a random. But anyway, um, let me go over the Twitch schedule real quick because it is different this week. So normally tomorrow I would be streaming at noon again, and it would be like Mortal Kombat or something. But instead, um, we're gonna be streaming at eight tomorrow, eight p.m. And, uh, of course, that's Eastern Standard Time. So I'm going to do VMX Reacts. Now, if you're not unaware of the whole VMX Reacts thing, it is going to be a reaction st uh, stream where I'm going to react to videos on YouTube that you guys link me to. If you want to link me to videos, you have to join the Discord. Hint, hint, mods, put the link in the description. You have to join the Discord where there is a temporary channel called links for VMX React Stream. They have to be YouTube links. Um, and I will go through them tomorrow night on stream and react to them. Um, on Wednesday, it's going to be 12 p.m. We are going to play Mortal Kombat. Then, at Thursday, we're going to play Dragon Age Origins at 8 p.m. On Friday, we are going to be playing, for Random Ass Friday, we're going to be playing the Ultimate Doom, or just, a.k.a. the retail version of the original Doom, with the extra episode. That's at 2 p.m. And on Saturday night, at 8 p.m., we're going to do Dragon Age Origins again. So, yeah. So let's see uh, if we can find a random person to raid. Uh, let's see. Well, let's see if anybody's playing The Binding of Isaac. Since that's what I was playing most recently. Okay. Uh, let's see. I got multiple choices here. But I'm trying to find one that's in English because I see a lot of Russian text. Wait, this person's noob? And they're playing Binding of Isaac Blind? 
Blind hard mode only day four. Give me some tips. Oh, okay. I think we have a winner. I think we know who. Let me just let the ad play and just make sure that this person isn't about to just end their stream right now. Oh, thanks, Army Giggity Time. That's just this week's schedule. It may go, it may stay on, uh, that schedule may kind of stay, you know, like with those times and everything, or I may go back to normal next week. It's just kind of depending on how a lot of other things are going on. This Burger King ad has been going on for, oh wait, this isn't Burger King. It's Wendy's. It's still, it's still been going on forever. Oh, he's playing. Okay. He's on pause right now, but let's raid him. Okay, so this guy's name is Ron, Ronnie, Ronnie? Ronnie, if you're a subscriber to my channel, spam that Gibbs emoji. Say oof, oof, oof. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, why not? It really helps me out, and you get the Gibbs emoji, which is just fucking amazing. It's, I mean, look at, look, look. I'm going to show you. Look how amazing that is. It's so amazing. Reaction show can go very well or very poorly. I think it's going to go well. So anyway, we're going to raid this person. Um, show them some love. Show them some support. Let them know where you're coming from. And uh, do not bail on the raid, guys. Stick around for the raid because uh, it really helps my channel grow by networking. So let's go ahead and do it. See you over there. <laughs> 